Well, hello. I want to welcome you to my first impressions of a Japanese handmade pen. Now, I don't very often review handmade pens here, uh, but when I do, they're either made in Japan or made in North Dakota, apparently. Uh, this, this is kind of a unique one I found on, I want to say on Etsy. It's an eyedropper filled pen, which has some uniqueness to it. So let's just dive into it and take a look at this unique pen. Of course, when I do a first impression, it is exactly that. I have not had time to really form any impressions or do any research. I have cleaned the pen, of course, because it's vintage, uh, but I have not written with it. So let's take a look on the outside. It has a reddish ink window, a rather attractive stone semi-demonstrator finish, the pen clip, says what does that say new new style new style i apologize uh, down here we have this is actually i had to use silicone grease on this because it was not it was so much catching on the plastic it was a bad scene uh, but to adjust the ink flow down here we have a nib that is special let's see if you can make that out or i'll be able to later special iridium point i uh just pulling out my loop to look at it here special iridium pen wow okay special iridium pen so a generic nib, basically. I am going to guess steel. With a nifty, what looks like an ebonite feed. At a guess. Uh, so it is an eyedropper fill. So I guess I need an eyedropper. Now this ink, I'm using Iroshizuku Takesumi because I'm almost out of it. And it would be fun to just use it up. So I'm probably going to use it in a few first impressions just so I can have one bottle down so this one as far as I know I unscrew this bit which also got some silicone grease and we'll just drop her the ink slowly into there so eyedroppers have their weaknesses one of them is they can burp, but this adjustable thing is part of what's going to make it a little easier to get along with. So that took about two full squeezes, and I, I guess we'll be using Takesumi in another pen yet. What you don't see is off screen, I just uh, cleaned out the eyedropper. Because I'm batch filming a bunch of videos today. So let's take a look at it again now that it's full of ink. I, I you know I'm wondering if I should have put like Rattler Eel Red in it or something like that. I think that might have been quite nice looking. But it is what it is. So let's write with it. And I I've having never written with it and I've never used a eyedropper with that adjustable flow. Oh, the posting is a little awkward. So this may be a learning experience. Okay, and may need a minute to saturate the feed. I wish you could see the gap between the tines there. I think this is going to be quite a nice writer once the ink gets down there. But it sometimes takes a while. Um, if you're really ambitious, you can try uh, shaking the pen. Uh, some people will tap it on the paper. I, I'm always nervous to do that. But I'll do a little shake like that, a vertical shake, just to help encourage it. Maybe I'll open up the ink flow a bit. Kind of like on a custom Pilot Custom 823. Woo! And we've, we have ink. I think I'll dial it back a little because it wants to run. Oh, baby. What a fountain pen is, really, it's just a leak. It's a leaky device, and you're just trying to control. Ooh, 
I'm forcing out the ink as I screw that thing down, so I suppose I should turn it when it's upside down. There we go. Well, let's see how this goes. This may, like I said, be a learning curve. For lack of a better name, we'll go with that. It's a little small to write with unposted. And I don't typically post my pens, but we're going to make an exception here. And this is writing. I've got it fully screwed down. So we'll see. Maybe I'm depending on what ink is in the feed. I, I just really don't know. Uh, it's a steel nib, but you could probably guess from the tines that there'd be a little flex. Not amazing amounts but definitely some flex wetness and flow of course is moderately adjustable but right now it's having no trouble keeping up um, the smear test Yeah, a little wetness there. And reverse writing. A little scratchy, what I'd consider an extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Oop, caught there. This pen wants to be at a specific angle for sure. I think it's doing a good job keeping up. So I won't say I'm over the moon with this pen, but I'm moderately pleased with it. Uh, I think it's turned out to be a quite pleasant writer. Uh, the eyedropper thing will take some getting used to, uh, figuring out how to use that adjuster. Uh, I always... Where are we getting black ink from? Okay, we'll go back here. I've got black ink. It could be left over from when it was dripping earlier. I don't see it really dripping out of the pen anywhere. Oh, I do. I do, I do, I do. Well, maybe I don't. Okay, that will be something to discover. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, I didn't think it could be ink coming out of there. I tried this with water already, so I knew it would hold a seal. I think this came from when I was dripping earlier and I just didn't notice, and then I got it on my fingers. All right, so I was about to do a pocket test and brave it. Fits in the pocket very well. So I think it's a very nifty looking pen. It's unique. Um, of course, with a handmade, you, you've got varying levels all the way from 100% kit down to a lot of craftsmanship. I'm not sure where this pen ranks because I'm not real sure how it was made or who made it or what its history is. But it's been interesting to have a couple of these Japanese handmade pens and just get something a little different because I'll bet there's not very many people have something like this. And surprisingly, I'm, you're able to get them at relatively low cost. They're not the big names or anything that get people all excited and getting them paying a premium. So, yeah, I'm, I'm moderately happy with it. What I really look forward to is using it in the long term. Because this is a pen I definitely feel brings up the limitations of a first impression video. I, I feel like it's really going to take some experience with this pen to truly decide how good a pen it actually is. Uh, lots of inks, lots of papers, lots of writing conditions. So remember it's a first impression. I want to thank you for watching and if you
have some suggestions about this pen, because we're kind of at the limits of my knowledge in this area. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.